Fix error E200 when starting Xbox console note, it take a long time to fix error E200. For starters, we highly recommend contacting Xbox support team and slash or getting your device repaired directly. To sum up this fix, you need pre Download Xbox Offline System Update File OSU1 at HTTP colon slash slash www.xbox.com slash Xbox One slash OSU1 semicolon. Pre, download Xbox Offline System Update File OSU2 at HTTP colon slash slash www.xbox.com slash Xbox One slash OSU2 semicolon to reset and restore your device, to repair your machine in time. Case Study 1, if you are using an original Xbox One, do the following. Are you getting the error message or an error code while updating your device? If so, try restarting your device and check if your machine starts as expected. If you are still on the aforesaid something went wrong screen above, use the D-pad and A button on your controller, then you select restart this Xbox. Otherwise, press and hold the Xbox button for approximately 10 seconds to turn off the console. Then reboot your device later. Not worked. You need to perform an offline system update. To do so, prepare the below items a Windows-based computer with an internet connection and a USB port. Refer to the below image. A USB flash drive with a minimum 4 GB of space formatted as NTFS. Follow the given steps below. 1. Plug your USB flash drive into a USB port on your computer. 2. Download, using Internet Download Manager is recommended, on your Windows, and unzip and run open the offline system update file osu1 at http colon slash slash www.xbox.com slash xbox1 slash osu1. Tip, right-click your download, and launch the option Extract. If you can't do so, get 7-Zip installed later. 3. Copy and paste the dollar $system update file from the .zip file to your flash drive. Note the files should be copied to the root directory, and there shouldn't be any other files on the flash drive. 4. Properly remove the above USB flash drive from your computer. 5. Perform an offline system update note, you need the help of Xbox Startup Troubleshooter. Follow the steps below. Power off your console completely by removing power cord. Wait 30 seconds, and re-add the power cord. Press and hold the bind button and the eject button, and press the Xbox button in the same time. Continue pressing the bind and eject buttons for 10 to 15 seconds. If you hear two power up tones, then you release the bind and eject buttons after the second power up tone. The console should power up and take you directly to the Xbox startup troubleshooter. Now, plug in the USB drive that contains the offline system update file OSU1 you downloaded. Then, Tap the above offline system update option. Follow the on-screen info and wizards to complete the ungrade process. For instance, you need to get your console restarted several minutes. If the above steps do not work, reset your console without erasing your games and apps. To do so, the D-pad and A button on your controller. Not worked. Restore your console to factory defaults, repeat the above steps to bring Xbox Startup Troubleshooter back. Press the D-pad and A button on your controller and select Reset this Xbox. If the above content still fails to work for you, get your device repaired ASAP. Are you experiencing a startup issue? Read the below content. I. If you're facing a green startup animation, power cycle your Xbox One console for approximately 10 seconds. If the problem continues, read on. Review the above info re how to perform an offline system update. If you do not see... Xbox Startup Troubleshooter, verify the OS version you're using. Press the Xbox button to open the guide. Select Settings. Select All Settings. Select System. Select Console Info and Updates. Now, check to see if your current OS version is listed here, 6.2.11791.0, XB underscore REL underscore 1411.14114-2300, FRE 6.2.12521.0, XB underscore REL underscore 1503.150305-1449. FRE 6.2.12998.0, XB underscore REL underscore 1506.150601-2200. FRE 6.2.13326.0, XB underscore REL underscore 1508.150810-2029. FRE 6.2.13332.0, 
XB underscore rel underscore 1508.150903-2141. FRE 10.0.1056.1006. TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1510.151107-2322. FRE 10.0.1056.1016. TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1510.151118-2147. FRE 10.0.10586.1024 TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1510.151203-1909 FRE 10.0.10586.1026 TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1510.151217-1035 FRE 10.0.10586.1100 TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1602.160210-2122. FRE 10.0.10586.1194. TH2 underscore Xbox underscore rel underscore 1603.160317-1900. FRE not listed? Check to see if your current OS version matches the below one at 6.2.9781.0, XB underscore rel underscore flash 1307.130829-1800. No. You need to download and install the offline system update file, OSU2, at http colon slash slash www.xbox.com slash xbox1 slash osu2, refer to the steps re how to install osu1. About the buttons and beeps press the bind and eject buttons at the same time so that your device can automatically detect the USB drive update you inserted. The first power up tone will occur approximately 10 seconds after powering up. The second indicates that the update file has been copied and mounted. If the first update, the installation of OSU2, was successful, you will either be returned to the home screen, or prompted to start a second update, online. Not worked. Rerun the offline system update file, OSU1, you downloaded. And update your Xbox later. If you're facing the set E200 error again, read on. Press the D-pad and A button on your controller. Not worked. Reset your console from the Xbox startup troubleshooter, bring up the troubleshoot page, and select reset this Xbox, while keeping your games and apps. Not worked. Restore your console to factory settings. From the something went wrong screen, use the D-pad and A button on your controller to select troubleshoot. If the above content still fails to work for you, get your device repaired ASAP. 2. You're seeing black screen? If you're seeing black screen transitions then, you'd better restore your Xbox One console to factory defaults. Not worked. Get your device repaired ASAP. If you're seeing black screen does not transition review the above steps re how to perform an offline system update. If you're not seeing the Xbox startup troubleshoot page below, re-verify or review the OS version we've detailed above. You need to give OSU2 a go first, then update your console. If OSU2 fails to help you out, run OSU1 later, and then update your Xbox. If, then you are seeing the below image, read on. Press the D-pad and A button on your controller and select restart this Xbox. Not worked. Reset your console from the Xbox Startup Troubleshooter, select Reset this Xbox, remember to keep the games and apps you installed. Not worked. Restore your console to factory settings. Not worked. Send your device to Microsoft and get it repaired. If you're seeing the Xbox Startup Troubleshoot page below, read on. Troubleshooting steps are, download and install the offline system update file, OSU1, update. Not worked. Then, are you seeing the something went wrong error screen below? If not, Try, restart your console reset your console restore your console to factory settings get your console repaired if, then you are unable to see the below error page, try the below steps one by one. Restart your console. Reset your console, press the D-pad and A button on your controller to select reset this Xbox. Restore your console to factory settings repair your device. Case study 2, for those who are playing an Xbox One S device, please refer to the above hives. Or, contact Xbox support and try getting your Xbox repaired.